Hi folks, I'm back again, this time with a battery that has no paper, no separator in it, at least not officially. This is a, that's a piece of graph oil with the copper backing on it, and this is a piece of the new carbon felt, and that is just a piece of zinc plate, and all I did here was, this is just titanium dioxide and water, nothing else. And I put, dipped the the uh, the felt in there and uh, absorbed the uh, soaked it in uh, titanium dioxide and water and stuck it on the, the electrode. Put on the other electrode like that, and we have a battery. Oop, there we go. And. Uh, Right now it's 90, 96.1 and it's still climbing a little bit and uh, I let it set there. It, it climbed all the way up to uh, 106.8 I think it was. But uh, look at there. There's no separator on that one at all. It's just the exclusion zones in the titanium dioxide and, and uh, graphite uh, carbon. So that's uh, interesting isn't it? Uh, there is some voltage right there, but you to get their amps. I mean, but to to get the, a lot of amps or more amps out of it, you got to press it down and get these uh, electrodes closer to each other. So I need some thinner, uh, need some thinner felt. Alrighty, talk to you later. Since I already have this uh, this uh, paperless battery here together, figured I might as well. Uh, We'll put a little titanium dioxide with the trisodium phosphate on there and uh, see what uh, effects a little TSB has on the battery. Expect the voltage to go up a little bit here. Square it around there. Make sure I don't touch them tips sticking up. Alright. Now let's see what some little trisodium phosphate does. It's about the same. Okay. 95.5. That's uh, the hell of it. Huh? It's got more amps to it. Although to to really show it, you got to push this down. Huh? And it goes up as the more you push it down. But that's uh, yeah, that's holding the constant uh, 1.1 1 .1 amps. Uh, I mean that's constant. <laughs> I bet we can hold that there for a long time. Now uh, that's pretty pretty cool, huh? We got a constant uh, amperage going on. Let's see what that did to the self charge going on. Didn't look like it did anything. I'm climbing right back up. Although it came up from a lot lower volts, I'm sure. Still climbing pretty steady. Matter of fact, it might be picking up speed a little bit. It is.
a little slower uh, self charge on it but it's pretty uh, it's still fairly fast consistent. Now it's starting to slow down as it gets closer to max volts. Higher than it was. Started a little higher that time. And now we're holding again at 111 or 1.1. Pretty much. Come on, don't drop down, stay there. Alright, pretty good. Let's uh, see where we're at this time. Yeah, it was coming back, it was 48 when the first flash did. Hmm. Okay. I'll be back. I'll be back. Right, now let's try uh, throwing some uh, of the cathode material in there. Just let it all mix together and see what happens. I'm going to dip it on there so I don't mix stuff together in here in the containers. And I'll spread it with my finger a little bit. not much but I bet we got more amps well it's still climbing things are starting to mix and work now yep come on baby I'll have to do rocket man <laughs> sat there for about 10 minutes and it went up to 106. So. Let me watch it just for a second here. we get out of this time. Yeah, four point something. Up and down. And then looks like it's gonna hold right around in there. Let's uh, squish it a little bit and see what we get. Holding it 
4 or something. That means it was probably 10 or something before it got discharged. Rocket man burning up the field for pure alone. Come on. So now it's a little higher and hit it again on the and squish it down to yeah, let's see up near ten. Mm-hmm. Holding it a little higher. So anyway, there's a paperless battery and you can just throw it all the shit together in there. Throw a couple of electrodes on it. It works. <laughs> Alright, talk to you next time. Thanks for watching.